Hey guys, so I read in a book, or I read in an article which referenced a book saying that in 2014 there were 22 million Magic players and about half of them were females. This data apparently comes from Wizards of the Coast. It's published in this book. That sounds like a number that's really, really high and inflated to me. If in 2014 there's 22 million players and every year they pretty much double, there, there's no way they doubled to uh, 44 or 88 million players in 2016. So they must have gone down. The number of players must have gone down because in 2014 is 22 million and that cannot be what it is today. I believe in 2014 was 22 million. Magic was doing really well. I, my pre-release, there was 100 plus people at the pre-releases at that time. Currently there are zero people at the pre-releases at the same store, at the same location, you know, to go from 100, 120 people are pre-release to zero is pretty bad. Uh, and the FNM went from 50, 60, like there were 80 people FNMs and it was amazing. When I first got to Houston in 2012, it was 80 people FNMs. Now in 2016, FNM doesn't even fire it. There's not even one person for FNM anymore at the same store. And if you guys are local, you know what store I'm referencing at this case. It used to be a great experience. It used to be really fun. It used to be enjoyable, but, and there used to be a ton more people. And that's what's enjoyable about it is everyone is so different from everyone else. Um, you get to experience a very unique, and I'm a big fan of that as a artist. I like, you know, talking to other artists. I like talking to people from all different perspectives. And that's why I love traveling so much. I travel a ton. I've been, you know, to Ireland, London, Dublin, Dublin, Ireland, London, England, uh, Berlin, Germany, uh, Florence, Italy, Rome, and all over China, like every major city in China, because that's where I'm from. And I've been to Ghana. I've been to Africa, which is amazing. I do have to get so many shots and you know, time everything perfectly, or so you can't get in that airplane, or even worse, you can't get back from the airplane. And overall, just a fantastic experience traveling, getting everyone's perspective. And that's why I feel like FNM is, you get a very diverse subset of Americans who play at FNM. They're all very different people. And I think that's amazing. Um, but that's not gonna work if there's no people at all. And if there's no people at all, it just spirals down in this system where magic becomes worse and worse at that particular community. Now you might say, oh, well, I am TG9. Why don't you join another community? It sucks when your community goes like to nothing. Like it's, if it's like four or five people who want to play FNM and you just hang out, that's kind of cool. I've done that before. Uh, and, but if it goes from 120 people to zero, that's what I've seen. Like, yes, it is a one story, it is my story, but I don't feel like it is so uncommon for me to say that. Again, 120 people at pre release, 160 people, 140 people to go down to zero. And it's not because this time they had the product. I'm shocked, right? They used to do pre releases five times Saturday, Sundays. Now they can't even launch one pre-release. So to say that there's 22 million Magic players in 2014, uh, leave me a comment below of how many um, million Magic players you believe exist today. I don't know. I would guess less than 22 million if I had to put a number on it. If I had to put a number on it, I would say under 10 million Magic players. Uh, and if I had to put a number of how many of those Magic players go to FNM, I would say maybe 10% of those players. So 1 million players internationally who go to FNM. Anyway, bye guys.